Hey everyone, we're back, we're gonna play a new game, it's a really, really good indie game that I've recently found out about, I've played through it multiple times and it's just awesome, uh, the game is To The Moon. Um, for those of y'all who don't know what To The Moon is, uh, it's an indie game <coughs> that is, uh, it's pretty much all dialogue, but it's still a game, if that makes sense. It's just, it's amazing. It's just simply, there's not another game out there that's like this game. It's amazing, I love it, and we're going to play it today. So, let's begin. So, the first thing you'll notice is that, uh, um, I guess the graphics for this game look like something out of a Super Nintendo game. Um, this game was made uh, a year ago? Two years ago? It's not an old game. It's just the style of the game, and, and it, it really fits it. It's, a, it's, a, it's really fitting. Um, the second thing you'll notice is the uh, music, which is phenomenal. Phenomenal. I love this game. The music on it is so good. So, so yes. Let's just sit back and relax and watch the opening sequences and we'll go from there. Uh oh. Well, it didn't take very long for that, so. Here's this, that's not good. <clears throat> Where are you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does this world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. So, the first thing, uh, you can use the mouse to kind of click around, um, or you can just, you know, use your keypad. That's the only one I do. So, let's grab the equipment and we'll go. Let's roll. So let me go this way. Hey wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you remember. How thoughtful of you. So, let me go this way. Uh oh, our first uh, little spot here. Put a boulder here. Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or, we could just call it a night and blame it on that. <clears throat> well, what do you want to do? You want to push by hand, find a branch, or abort the mission and go home? Let's say you abort the mission and go home. You do know that you won't be paid if we don't go through with it, right? Hmm. I do need to fund an IKEA shopping spree soon. <laughs> this game it does have is have its comedic moments. Um, Dr. Watts is really kind of the smart ass. He has the comical things. Let's just push it by hand. He's really a really fun guy. He says all the one-liners. All right, I'm three. One, two, three. What the? Well, that's odd. I I don't even. What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Um, we need to get going for now. We'll we'll figure that that thing out later. Right. Okay. So let's go. And now we are at the house. Knock on the door. Ma, they're here! No, 
Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Of course you could. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. I doubt they have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blabbering, your they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron. <clears throat> I don't get paid enough for this. I hear you. Sorry, guys, I'm <clears throat> kind of coming over a cold, so hopefully that's not really annoying. I hope it's not. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I always thought they were lighthouses. That's a, a quote for later on in the uh, the game that you'll uh, you'll recognize. It's, it's kind of meaningful, um, but you won't uh, figure it out until later. So, Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think they we're the ones you want. No, no, no. He just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll see you with the insurance claim. So let's get the thing, and we'll go. So, all right, let's head upstairs. So the uh, the premise of this game is pretty much there's this dying man, Johnny. Um, so. We don't want to miss this really important uh, little thing, do we? Anyways, the, uh, the main story is that there's this man on his deathbed, Johnny, and there's the technology out to grant him a wish, any wish he wants, and you go inside his mind and you change his memories to perceive whatever wish he you know, wants granted. So that's the premise of these two scientists that go into this, this old man's mind and um, changes his memories to whatever his wish is. So... Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. <coughs> Guess we'll talk to her. Ready to set up? Let's set the machine down. Yes, it'll just be a moment. 